This is a kill switch. It's pretty basic. It cuts the power to the fuel pump relay so that your car can't start. Usually this gets installed somewhere in the cabin and it's pretty easy to bypass if you know what you're looking for. So I decided I was going to make one that's much more complicated and much more difficult to bypass. So here's what my plan is. A kill switch pretty much always looks like this. I'm going to make this a fake kill switch that activates a siren. The real kill switch will be installed somewhere else, which I won't show on video for hopefully obvious reasons. The switch for the siren, although it seems simple, has to be a bit complicated. I don't want the switch to immediately activate the siren, because then the thief will immediately realize that the switch he flipped triggered a siren and just simply turn it off. I also don't want the switch to only have a time delay, because then if the thief does figure it out, he can just turn it off. I also want this to work passively, meaning that it can't draw battery power before the switch has been activated, otherwise I'll drain my battery. So now that I have a list of impossible demands, let's see what I can do. So here's what I have. This switch will activate the latching relay and turn on the power. And the latching relay has to come first, that way if the thief starts toggling this switch on and off, this switch won't lose any power. The latching relay will provide power to the time delay, which will only provide power to the siren once the allotted time has elapsed. And I'm going to run this siren through these generic relays, that way I'm not putting too much strain on any of these individual electronic components. I have this box here for the latching relay and the time delay, and we'll install this somewhere in the cabin. And then I have this box here for this relay for the siren, and we'll install that somewhere in the engine compartment. So let's wire this all up outside the car, and then we'll get this into the car. So the difficult part is done. And we've got this all wired up. This is the fake kill switch. And you see, when they press it, this starts the countdown. It's gonna go seven, six, five. And this light is gonna be our siren. When this light turns on, that's when the siren would be going off. And no matter what you do with this switch, it doesn't matter. The siren, or in this case, the light, will keep going off. It does not matter how many times you press this switch. So let me show you that again. They press the switch. This starts the countdown, seven, six, five, and it doesn't matter. They can switch this switch when the countdown's going on. It does not matter. That siren starts going off. Now to reset it, all I have to do is make sure the kill switch is in the off position, and I can use this switch to reset it. So I've got the fake kill switch installed. That gets wired back here to this cable here. This is gonna to go to the power, which I have right here, which goes to the fuse tap that'll go to the fuse box on the other side of the vehicle over there. So we're pretty much good to go. All I have to do is wire up the cable that goes from that box to the engine compartment, install the siren, and we're ready to try it out. All right, so I'm done with the bulk of the work in the engine bay. I've got this relay here. That'll be triggered by these two wires, which will come from the electronics inside the cabin. It's hooked straight up to the battery, but we're using this relay, so there's no draw on the battery when we don't need the siren. And then the siren's mounted over there, which is the only place that I could find to put it. So because it's 2.45 a.m., I'm gonna put this towel in front of the siren so that we can't hear it as loud. And then when I eventually do test it, I'll close the hood. I'm sitting on this side so I have access to the switch to turn it off. Let's see. I'm going to sleep. All right, so I don't think I went through that well enough yesterday. So let me show you again how this works. We have the kill switch there that's wired to a box back there. That box back there gets power from the other side at a fuse tap in that fuse box. The box back there runs through the firewall here and into the engine compartment. 
The wiring comes out of the firewall here, gets routed through the engine compartment to this box here, which contains a relay. That relay takes power straight from the battery and sends it to the alarm over there. But now I want to try it one last time and we can see how loud this alarm actually is. Three, two, one.